Is it just me or has Ramadan come back so fast this time? Guess what? We're almost back into the month of Ramadan. Subhanallah. Now I want to share with you something amazing. From now, you must start planning what you want to do in Ramadan. And I'm going to tell you what that will do for you. So you must plan how much Quran you want to read, how you want to fast, what salah you are going to read in terms of voluntary salah over and above the compulsory farad salah. You would, you would perhaps get the chance to fulfill a lot more what you're going to read in terms of books, what you're going to listen to in terms of lectures, what you're going to do to expand your knowledge, what you're going to do in terms of extra ibadah, standing at night, uh, what you're going to do to make this Ramadan more meaningful and productive. Start planning from now, learning the Quran, reading the meaning of the Quran, trying to understand it, putting it into practice, changing a few things in your life, seizing the opportunity of Ramadan to change completely. Now, the reason why it's very important to make serious intentions already, we don't know if we're actually going to witness the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, Allahumma balighna Ramadan. O oh Allah, let us reach the month of Ramadan. Allow us to witness the month of Ramadan it's not yet Ramadan, I may die before Ramadan. And that's a reality, I may. Who knows, may Allah grant us all Jannatul Firdaus, make it easy for us, may Allah give us paradise. But in the case where we don't make it to Ramadan because Allah's taken us away, guess what? You will have a full reward of everything you seriously intended to do because إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَّاتِ Definitely all your actions are judged by their underlying intentions. So the hadith says, whoever intends to do good and was unable to do it, Allah writes a reward for that person. Subhanallah. So you will get a reward for whatever you intended to do, but couldn't do it. And if you end up doing it and Ramadan comes, you will actually have a multiplied reward in that particular case. Look at the mercy of Allah. So this is why it's always good when you have an opportunity to think about what you want to do, to plan it, to plan it out in a beautiful way so that you're serious about it, to start thinking about how you're going to be spending Ramadan and inshallah how we're going to be making an Umrah. May Allah open that door for us as well so that you have a full reward even in the case where you haven't made it to the month of Ramadan and Allah takes you away before that. And even if you're, you become ill or sick during those days and you're unable to fulfill what you intended to fulfill, you will still have a full reward of what you planned to do. Subhanallah. Amazing, isn't it? So this is the beauty of the month of Ramadan and planning for it. And if Allah allows us to witness Ramadan and we happen to be able to fulfill what we planned, even if it wasn't to the full extent, we will still have a reward and a multiplied reward for everything we were able to do. So one of the most beautiful things we need to start doing now in preparation for Ramadan is to start intending, making niya and start planning and start promising that inshallah I'm going to do this and inshallah this year I want to do that. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to do this and do that.